going on guys? Chad here with Greenlight Shooting and welcome to this new review. Now before we get into this video, there is a few things I want to mention. First off, I want to say that I'm here in Murray, Utah at TNT Guns and Range, one of my absolute favorite ranges. This place is awesome. If you haven't seen my review on this place, please go check it out. The staff here is fantastic. The selection is great. The ranges are uh, off the charts. I mean, this place is fantastic. So a big shout out to them for letting me come in here and film. Thank you so much, guys. Make sure to show them some love. Check out their website and stuff down in the description below. If you're local, be sure to check this place out. So today we're doing just kind of a quick review, a quick kind of overview review almost on the Springfield XD Mod 2. Now, I've been getting a lot of requests for this kind of review. I'm, I'm glad I'm finally able to get my hands on and test it out for you guys and give you guys just my quick thoughts. Now I should mention this is the 4 inch service model that we're talking about today, chambered in 9mm. Keeping with the traditional XD style, this is all polymer frame. First up, let's talk about the things that remain in the Mod 2 that I really liked about kind of the first edition of the Springfield. So first up, you've still got all your safety things, and that's, I think, one of the biggest claims to fame for the XD series. You know, you've got that grip safety. There that has to be engaged for the trigger to pull. You've got a, uh, on, the, on the trigger here, you've got a trigger safety. So it really does have to be a hand. You know, something couldn't get in that trigger guard and pull that trigger. You really have to have a hand coming from behind that grip and a finger coming from in front of that trigger to pull that trigger. Uh, the other things I like about it are when you're cocked, you know you can see and you can feel this little indicator on the back here. So there's a little pin that pokes out. You can also feel that with your finger if you're in the dark or something like that to know that you're cocked and ready to go. Uh, then you can also see and feel if you're loaded. So if you have a, a round in the chamber, there's a loaded chamber indicator on the top here. First there's a hole you can see into and actually see the rounds. Uh, if it's dark or something like that, you can run your finger along the top here and there's a raised little bar that'll tell you you've got a round in the chamber. So those things uh, carry across from the first edition of the XDs that I really, really, really love those things. You know, especially if you're, if you're concealed carrying or something like that, it's just a good peace of mind to know that you have to have a hand to grab that, that grip in order to fire the thing. Now let's talk about a couple of the differences they made with the Mod 2. So uh, the obvious first thing that strikes me is uh, this grip zone thing they've got going here. So they took off kind of that aggressive stippling they had across the whole grip and made it just on the finger grooves and the back, kind of the palm swell here. And, uh, you know, there's like three different layers of it. Springfield has a whole thing on their website where they go into the different layers of their grip zone stippling techniques. Check that out if you're interested. Uh, but for me, it's not quite as aggressive as I'd like it to be, to be honest. I have fairly sweaty hands, um, so I'd like it to be a little more aggressive. But overall, I do like the idea of kind of adding that extra adhesion to the finger grooves and the back there. That's obviously the points where you're gripping the gun uh, the hardest. I'd say overall, the grip zone is an improvement. Uh, you know, the first edition, it just kind of had, a, I don't know, a little bit deeper, wider kind of serrations, I guess. That never really did much for me in terms of improving my grip, you know, at the range or whatever with sweaty hands. Uh, this one, I do think would be comfortable to shoot over time. That other one kind of digs into your skin and I think this is a, a good improvement. Now I will say the one thing with the grip zone is they no longer have adjustable back straps. So overall one of the big things they did with the ergonomics of the gun is slim everything down. They, they really improved on, on just keeping it slimmer for concealability and stuff like that. However, with that, I, I assume because of that is why they don't have adjustable back straps anymore. And uh, I didn't do a whole lot of research. You know, maybe there are other XD Mod 2s that still allow for that, but the ones they had here uh, were all set back straps, which I found interesting. You give up a lot of uh, variability in hand sizes um, just to keep the gun slimmer. So. I don't know how much I agree with that. For me personally, it fits my hand pretty good, uh, but I don't know how I'd feel if I had a bigger or smaller hand. Next up, they slimmed up this slide quite a bit, and they made the serrations on the back here much more pronounced. So now, racking the slide should, in theory, be a lot easier. Um, I don't know that it's easier, but it's as easy as it ever was. You know, the trigger feels about the same that it's always felt. It's, it's not crisp by any means, but I don't really know that that's their goal either. It's a fine trigger, you know, you pull it back to a decent wall, you get a little bit of mush and then it fires through. So it's something that would work just fine for duty or concealed carry. If you want something that's a little bit sharper for, for bullseye shooting, uh, at least out of the box, this trigger's not it. It does still have the rail here for accessories on the front, 
which is great. Sights wise, they all now have a stock fiber optic front sight, which is great. I love fiber optic sights. On the back here, you've got two white dots on an extended low profile rear sight. Uh, again, I think they're really, really pushing for that, that smaller package concealability, keeping everything low profile and slim down as much as possible. The sights still look good while shooting. Uh, I really do like that fiber optic front sight though. I think that's a good improvement. Uh, but the nine millimeter version, you're getting 16 rounds out of this magazine, plus one, so you can get a total of 17 rounds in this gun. But here's the big shocker for me when it comes to the Mod 2s. Now, I don't know if this is how it is across the board with Mod 2s, or if that's just happened to be how this one is with the one we happen to pull from stock. So uh, this one, only comes with two magazines. So it comes with one magazine in the gun and one spare magazine. Again, both are 16 rounds, but that's it. It comes with the gun and two magazines. And the case isn't even the nice hard case that it used to come in. You know, one of my favorite things about buying a, a standard XD was you got everything you needed if it was your first gun. It came in a nice, big, hard case. It came with like three magazines. It came with a holster, a magazine holster, back straps. You know, you were, you were set. And it came with that big, nice case to carry everything around in. And uh, you know, this one just doesn't have that same ready, start, go option. However, there is a big price difference. So uh, I don't really like to go into prices too much because it varies so much depending on where you are, when you watch this, where you buy it. But I will tell you that uh, in Utah, as of right now, December 2016, TNT Guns and Range has this gun listed for $499.99. So uh, that's a really good deal. It's 500 bucks, you get this gun and two magazines. Uh, I think with the whole package I was talking about earlier, I think that was like 650 usually or something like that. Um, so uh, it was a $150 difference. So I guess, you know, you can put that $150 towards going and buying a case and another magazine and a holster and whatever else. So I get that difference, but for beginners who maybe don't know what they're looking for, it was still nice to be able to come in and pick up a package and be ready to go. So I don't know how I feel about it. Like I said, there might be Mod 2s that come in a case like that, all set and ready to go. And if so, I applaud Springfield. Um, I think if they did away with that, I think that was a mistake. So anyways, that's my quick review on the Springfield XD Mod 2 series. I think it's a good update. I like the things they did. I like the grip zone. I like the serrations. I like the fiber optic front sight. And I like how they kept all those traditional safety features of the XD. Uh, my biggest issue with it is just that it doesn't come in that kit anymore. I hope you guys like this. Let me know what you guys think about the XD Mod 2 series. They're certainly still a good gun. They shoot very well. Maybe we'll do a more in-depth video on this another time where we can actually go and shoot it in different conditions and see how it holds up. But I think overall, being that it's polymer framed, you know, it's gonna handle anything and everything you throw at it. Durability's gonna be great on it. You know, it's got the Springfield name behind it. So I don't doubt that it's a great gun, you know, over time, over thousands of rounds, that kinds of thing. So I think it's a good buy. The Springfield XDs have always been one of my favorite series and the Mod 2 is no different. So anyways, let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment below. Do you have one? Have you shot one? What are your experiences with it? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you have more information than me on the kits and stuff like that? I'd love to hear. Uh, anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Uh, share this video if you think someone else might enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot more videos coming. And uh, if you haven't seen these other two videos, please check them out. Thanks so much for watching and thanks so much to TNT Guns and Range in Utah for helping me out.